Right, this one, folks, is going to turn your stomach. It really is. So this is a warning, and I'm not making it up. I'm not going to make fun like I do of most subjects. This is serious, this one. If you've not heard this one before, you might not be prepared for it. So if you're having your tea shortly, don't listen to it. If you're eating your tea, definitely don't listen to it. If you've got a queasy stomach, don't listen to it. If you love animals, definitely don't listen to it. Right, that's all the spoilers out of the way. I'm now going to give you the story. Have you heard this? I read this earlier today. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe what I was reading. I couldn't, honestly. It's so sick, it's unbelievable. British guy, 53-year-old Adam Britton. Adam Britton, born in, I think, Yorkshire. Uh, emigrated to Australia a good few years ago now. He's a British-born crocodile expert. He's a zoologist. And obviously, he must major in crocodiles. Obviously, he's gone over there for him. We've not got any over here. He's even been on the screen before with his wife, she's not with him anymore, and with David Attenborough. He's well respected. Anyway, it turns out he's raped, tortured, and killed thirty nine dogs. That's right, dogs. Dogs. He had a torture room, he had his own two dogs. And bred from them, I think, and used to buy dogs that were needed, you know, when owners were leaving and were going away and couldn't take the dogs with them, or they'd moved into a house and landlords won't let them have dogs. He bought them all with sob stories, really, really cheap. Said he'd lost his pet and wanted to give them a home. And he's gone on and raped, tortured, and murdered many of the dogs. He'd been tried for 56 offences with 42 dogs of which 39 of them are dead. He's killed one or another 39 of them. He's been sentenced to just over 10 years in Australia and he can't get parole for at least six years. And he's been banned for the rest of his life for having, I think, is it mammals? Mammals. He can't have them for the rest of his life. He never did to crocodiles. No, he wouldn't, would he? Because they'd kill him, wouldn't they? But the dogs, he's tied them up and done all manner of things to them, from what I can gather. Just unbelievably sick. He's hid it from his wife, she's known nothing. She's changed the name back to what it was and left him and he's now rotting in prison. And they're saying in Australia, how has he only got 10 years? It's not like he's done it once. They've also found, I think it's 15, very, very bad images of children. Uh, so he's got images on computers and what have you of children, but his biggest crime is this that he's done to animals or namely to dogs. And you just think to yourself, how could anybody do that? The thing is he's filmed himself He's filmed himself, had fun filming himself and been sharing it with like-minded adults on Telegram channels. I think they said Telegram. And he's also been telling like-minded adults how to do what he does. He's been giving them tips. Um, in the end, he got found out. He got found out by a lead. There was a lead on one of the dogs and it said something on there that it shouldn't have said. And some eagle-eyed person seen it. God only knows how they've seen it and what they're looking at. They knew where he bought the dog from. They traced it back to himself. But I mean, he's a well-respected zoologist, or was, in Australia. You wouldn't believe somebody that works in that kind of field would do that to animals, would you? Just sick, sick beyond belief. Um, let's hope he gets lots of that and more while he's inside. And let's hope uh, he gets that much, but it kills him. That'll probably be what he deserves. He might enjoy it as he's dying, but let's just hope that just snuffs him out, because that's what's needed. Don't want vermin like that on the planet, do we? And hey, that's it. Sorry to bring you that, folks, but I bring you all kinds of stories that, that take me interest, whatever they may be. They're not always fun and happy-go-lucky stories. They're not always me calling folk because they, they've got no talent. This is me calling somebody because I just think to myself, the guy is absolutely sick and deserves everything and more that he's got coming to him. He really does. And hey, sorry about that.